nog iemand wat op zondag werk, um, en ook morgen vier jaar, is ons volgende gast, ons praat nou met Aloysias Maimani. Good morning. Hey, goeiemorgen, hoe gaan dit? Aan die gang. <laughs> dit is pronounce het correctly, sê ek het reg, Aloysias. <laughs> dit is Aloysias, ja. Wat betekent dit? Wat is die betekenis? Uh, it's a, uh, this English, um, it, it's a, it's a German name. It's oh. a, my grandmother was, what was, was Catholic. Okay. So she, she, we had a Catholic priest that was called Saint Aloysius, which means, uh, the, the, the glory of God. And, um, and so because I grew up in a very Catholic home where my grandmother was very Catholic, I had the names Musia Aloysius Maimani. Oh, that's a beautiful story. Musi, it's your birthday tomorrow, um, and you, you share a birthday with my grandmother, and she's turning 90 years old tomorrow. Can you believe it? Maud is her name. So, uh, but we're gonna, uh, I was just going to sing for you a bit later, but before okay. we get there, <laughs> you decided, and it's, and it's a special, we spoke to Brian Abana yesterday, um, and you also friends, and you decided to do something different with your birthday, also giving instead of just receiving. Well, let me first of all wish your 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 grandmother uh, a very happy birthday. I mean, I think uh, it shows you that people born in June are special and uh, they they are resilient, they are strong, they are the best, you know. So <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I wish I wish you all the best. Um. You know, you know, in lockdown regulations, when I, I mean, I'm a big birthday person, so I love birthdays. I celebrate them. But um, as we've been facing this COVID-19 pandemic, it's become very clear that this is not a time like any other anywhere in the world. We must all do our little bit. So I felt at the time that rather than having a party with uh, a few of my friends, why don't we have a party for people in need? Why don't we go out of our way and and look after those who are in need. And I felt it strongly. So we've gone out to communities and I'm grateful through Brian Abena we'll be doing uh, food parcels even across the country. People are, are participating. Anna has been unbelievably helpful. We've got people now in Gauteng who are distributing hot water bottles. They're doing some soup deliveries. We've got people in the Eastern Cape doing some incredible work and People are, and then uh, here in, uh, in the Western Cape, they'll be doing likewise, and in the Free State. So, I'm quite grateful. I'm grateful that South Africans uh, can find any excuse. Really, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be about my birthday. Any excuse to do an act of kindness, I really believe, is what epitomizes the spirit of what it means to be South African. So we've got a mutual friend, and that's um, the the lady you mentioned, Anna. Um, and she's the one. She talks so fast. It sounds like an AK-47. <laughs> she goes, da, 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 da. Um, but lovely helping you and you call it 40 acts of kindness um, and it's really special I think giving back and we ourselves went through a very difficult or still in a very difficult stage um, and we decided also to all the charities we work for for the caregivers we're going to give um, 40 presents today and we're going to reveal it later on the program so just it's fantastic for us I mean because you inspired us to do well on your birthday as well. But I just want to quickly talk about you growing up. It's so interesting when you, I mean, just your name. And I think a lot of people, you, you know, you, you became famous with just politics. But getting behind the people, uh, for me, it's always amazing that your mother was Kloza, uh, your father was Twana, the Bafu King family um, from there. You know, just, I mean, there already, I've got friends or had a friend um, and his parents were Sutu and Zulu. And he, he was like, he had a tough time at school even for that. Uh, you know, so, but just in South Africa, and, and, I, and even in this time, showed us people are divided. And I think uh, if we talk about your faith, um, all your degrees, but the f fact that you now also a pastor and an elder, um, you know, do you see that's the only thing that can really bind us together? Because we really need some love in this country at this moment. No, completely. And I think... Um in truth, you know, when I when I think about my family, my wife is a white South African, and my kids are mixed race. We they, they they we call them, and even as a family, we've had to 
face some serious opposition when people were saying to us on on both sides you get uh, certain people who say to us no but you are betraying your own people by marrying across a different racial line she have other people say the same but it's become important now as a family for us to stand up and say in a time such as this one what binds us together firstly it is our faith and i think even in this time as a country we realize that uh, you know when we when we it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how you pray it's that we all serve one god and and that in fact in many ways has been a rallying call for many people and i've said to people i don't care what you look like at least i must accept that you are god's creation at least in that way i understand that to be a racist is to hate god i always tell people because how can you hate the creation of god you you must convince me of that argument so And the second issue is that both her and I doesn't matter where we've come from are committed to our children. And that's something that South Africa sometimes loses is that it forgets that we've all got kids who must grow up in this country. And we what we don't want to do is poison them with our pain, but we also want to make sure that their tomorrow is better. That actually they'll never be judged by the color of their skins. That one day it'll be possible that in the future of this country we can truly identify South Africans. And what I'm proposing is that in practical ways the 40 acts of kindness give us an opportunity to go into communities we wouldn't normally go into to meet people we wouldn't ordinarily meet. Because when you've met someone your fears of them change. You suddenly get to think Niamos this person they live the same life as I do. You know one of the greatest privileges I had is when I left when I finished school when I was I was 16 in matric so I was too young to drive and I and I I didn't have money to go to university and I lived with a family in 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 Krugersdorp in Monument Afrikaans family and whilst I lived with this family I must imagine I was a child who grew up in Soweto I didn't know too much about what it means to be african and so as we lived with this family you suddenly realize wait most we share many common things we sh- we are all worried about the same things we fear for our kids suddenly they stop being a race they start becoming humanity and human beings and so for me i just think there's always an opportunity if you want to go and live with other people and let's be honest there will be those who are racist no matter what we do there will be those who are like that and those people it doesn't mean that you have to be black or white to condemn racism you just have to be a human being even if the racism is committed against us so if racism was committed against africans people must be first to stand up is in the same way as if racism is condemned against black people that it must also be important for afghans for black people for white people for indian people to stand up and say racism cannot be committed against that race and be okay with being able to stand up for that so i i our hope as a nation is to remind ourselves of a of a faith and also to remind ourselves that actually we have a shared interest together for the future of our children Mm-hmm. Mm. Musi, uh, I think we're going to talk to you in future about one South Africa movement uh, to get more into that detail. Our time's up for today, but again, a big congratulations for tomorrow. I've got a special message here from you from Helen Zeller. I'm not joking. Um <laughs> <laughs> It's always okay. a curve for. That's okay. At the end of the day. <laughs> just like it. Right. They just don't take her away from Twitter. Musi, what a you are truly I think um uh, a blessing for this country. Um an inspiration. Uh, we are sometimes I really think a lot of people want you as president because you so really a, a good human and you live love. So we we um we bless you for your for your for your birthday, your family. Um all your all your family and i hope it will be a fantastic next 40 years baya baya danki ek var dierde baya and i want to thank you guys for your 40 acts of kindness thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for on behalf of the people of south africa and on on var dierde baya and as as a belief uh, may god bless you guys thank you so much i really appreciate it great stuff thanks musi cheers
En dat was nou, moest je, hè? Wat een inspiratie. Sjoe, kan hij niet meer president geweest.